there is a, there is a, a lottery when it comes to medication. I was also going to raise the issue of the postcode lottery when it comes to maternal health care in this country. Um, we have seen the opening up and the announcements yesterday, which are very welcome and will give a lot of hope to people. And over the last week, there's also been several announcements in relation to the opening up of um, hospitals to, and uh, maternity, uh, maternity wards to partners. Um, but this is very much a postcode lottery. In UHG, there's one hour per day for partners, um, half an hour to the neonatal unit when a, when a father has a, a child there. Um, but there's no other hospitals in the Northwest that are offering the same. And then you look at the Coombe, where partners com can come in for three hours a day. All of these things, it's not in any way to criticize the hospitals because they're doing their best. But what it does do is it points out that um, there are a lot of inequalities, regional, and also this is this is to do with with um, gender, uh, um, and how we how we think of our maternal health care around the country. Um, and I would certainly think that you know the, the national maternity strategy has been held back. Um, we now need to see post COVID that we're moving forward with that. And I would ask the leader to have to to ask the minister for health to come in and to really um, be able to have a proper conversation over how we're going to change that for all women in the, in the country. The 5th, of, um, the 5th of May is um, International Day of the Midwife and the, uh, the conference for the INMO next week, it, the, the, um, the title is Courage to Care. And I think that we have seen midwives particularly take a really strong um, lead when it comes to supporting women throughout the pandemic. Now it's all of our responsibility going forward to jointly as a society support women who are pregnant and are giving birth. Thank you.